it's time to cook with Susan Beck. Well, if you're looking for just a simple little tomato salad, I'm going to show you one today that you can just make lickety split. So if you've got a lot of excess tomatoes in your garden, or you're just looking for a nice little refreshing side dish, this would be the perfect thing for you. So with your tomatoes, we want to cut off the top, and I like to cut off the bottom. I do not bother to um, skin these. I know my mother used to always scald them in hot water and remove the skins, but I don't find that necessary. I don't mind the skin, and I'm sure it's the same as with any other fruit, that the best nutrients are probably out in that skin anyway. But if you were watching, I did take out that little core inside. Let me do that again. I'm going to take off the top and the bottom. Some of these little smaller tomatoes here, but they're nice and ripe. And there's just that little spot in there that's kind of a little bit of a core, and I just kind of like to run my knife down in there. The smaller one doesn't have nearly as big a one. And get rid of that. All right, I am going to just make some nice slices. Oh, maybe about a half an inch thick. And lay those out here on my cutting board. That little one, I'm just going to get two slices out of that. And then I am going to put a little salt. I like kosher salt for this, just that little bit of chunkier salt and freshly ground pepper. And you can just use your salt and pepper shaker if you want to. All right, the next thing I love to add is my fresh basil. So I've got these nice basil leaves here that I don't know, one of the easiest ways to cut these into some little ribbons is just to kind of roll them and then run your knife through. And now I just have some nice little ribbons of basil and I'm just gonna put a couple of those on each tomato. So there's a little closer look of what I've done so far. Slicing the tomatoes, putting salt, pepper, and some basil on. And now I'm going to use some feta cheese. I just love feta. Feta has just this I don't know, saltiness to it, I guess I would say. So I'm just gonna cut this up into some crumbles, or you can break it with your hands. You can also buy feta already in crumbles as well. Looks like I could use just a little bit more for that last tomato there. All right, and there we go. Some tomato salad with feta. So all it took was a few simple ingredients to make this lovely tomato salad. And I don't know, I guess I usually end up eating it with a knife and fork and cutting that up and making sure I've got some feta and basil in every bite. Mm. I don't know, I really like salt and pepper on my tomatoes to start with. And that saltiness of the feta um, just adds a little something that I love. And basil, mm. it's my favorite herb I grow. So, use some of your tomatoes or pick one up at a farmer's market and make yourself a simple tomato salad.